in this problem we have this axle AB which has a diameter D equal to 80 millimeters. We have a load P equal to 8.9 kilonewtons which is applied here at point C and at point G. The axle is supported by two wheels with a space in L equal to 1.45 meters. So these uh, are the reaction forces and the load and support are offset by B equal to 0.2 meters. So this distance B is equal to 0.2 meters. And we have to determine the maximum bending stress in the axle. So we know that the bending stress is equal to the, mom the moment times Y, the distance from the neutral axis, divided by the moment of inertia. So in this case, the moment of inertia is constant because the cross-section of the beam is constant, then the maximum bending stress occurs where M is maximum and Y is maximum. Then we need to look for the location of the maximum uh, moment and also the location of the maximum distance Y. Then we're going to start calculating first the reaction forces. This is our structure and we have here the applied force P and the applied force P here as well and these are the reaction forces R and in this case it's very simple because from the vertical equilibrium we have that 2R minus 2P is equal to zero and since we have symmetry we directly find that R is equal to P. Then now we are able to calculate what are the expressions for the moment. Then we can divide our structure in different segments. Then we define the section or segment AC, CD, DF, FG, and GP. For section AC we have, as you can see here, we have no moment, then M is equal to zero. For section CD, this force P is creating a moment which is counterclockwise then the internal reaction moment is clockwise then according to our sign convention we have that this is positive then this force P is creating a moment internal moment distribution uh, different from this one so we are creating here a distribution like this right so this is negative and it is equal to minus P times x so we define x from c to the right okay now for the section df we have the same contribution of this force p minus px and now we have the contribution of this uh, reaction force which is p in this case this is positive and this located at x minus 0.2 and this is equal to minus PB. And for this section FG, we have the same contribution as before, minus PB, and also the contribution of this force, this reaction force P, so it is positive again, plus P, and the distance from P to any point of this section is equal to X minus L plus B. So this is equal to minus P L plus 2B plus PX. And finally for GB, we have again that this is free. We don't have moments. M is equal to zero. We can now draw this 
moment distribution from A to C we don't have moment from C to D we have minus PX so it's a straight line and the value here at D is um, PB minus PB so here is constant and of course we know that this beam is symmetric then the maximum pending moment is equal to minus PB this is equal to minus 8.9 to the power of times 10 to the power of 3 times this distance B 0 0.2 This is in Newton's meter, so this is equal to minus 1.78 times 10 to the power of 3 Newton's meter. And of course, you see that it occurs at long this span df. Now we go back to the flexural formula because we remember the sigma max, it was equal to m max times y max divided by the moment of inertia then we can now calculate what is the moment of inertia we have a circular section and we have that the diameter is equal to 18 millimeters then we have a standard formula for this the moment of inertia is equal to pi divided by 64 times d to the power of 4 and this is equal to 2.011 times 10 to the power of negative 6 okay so this is the moment of inertia and we just need to know what is the y max so in this case we have this circular section, we have symmetry, this is the neutral axis, so y is this distance, so y max is this distance, then we have that y max is equal to the, to the radius of the cross section, and then this is equal to diameter divided by 2, so of course the, we have to calculate the maximum bending moment, but the problem uh, does not specify if it should be the maximum compressive or tensile, so we need to take into account also this distance, which is also y max. Then this is equal to plus minus this uh, diameter divided by 2 is equal to 40 millimeters. Then now we have all the ingredients to calculate the maximum bending stress. So the maximum bending moment it was equal to minus 1.78. The maximum y is equal to plus minus 40 millimeters. And the moment of inertia it's equal to 2.011 times 10 to the negative 6 then this is equal to plus minus 35.4 megapascals then we have that the maximum bending stress is equal to 35.4 megapascals in tension and 35.4 megapascals in compression